Hi everybody, this is Frank DeMora again, December the 9th, 2011, and this is my fourth video. And if you just happen to find my YouTube channel, please go over, I invite you to go up. You'll see my prophecy site, and you'll see a lot of other information that I put there other than my YouTube videos. And when you're there, you'll be able to download my book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, absolutely free by connecting this link. Just click to it. It'll connect you right to my book. You can read it today, right now. you only be a few seconds away from reading the book. Now, let me scroll down, and I want to get to a place where I gave a couple days ago some information uh, about UFOs. There we go. Let me just play this for you. You'll be able to hear it, and this is the scripture right there. Oh, I'm sorry, Luke. I want to go up here so you can see where it is. Luke 21 25. And you see a lot of the different versions of how it's being worded, but I always use the King James Version. And it says this And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And then it goes on to say, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. But All right, so what I was showing you here, later, later on you'll see that there was some information uh, about some weird uh, signs that were taking place in the sky and how there was a video here that showed that it looked like a spaceship. Now, I can't say for sure, uh, but after a uh, an array of uh, a sunblast that showed up uh, because it, it seemed like it was cloaked. Now, only God knows, but the reason why I put this up is so that people would not be deceived. But let me just show you now something that I uh, picked up today, and you'll see why. Here is a, an article with a, a video talking about this new technology. Now before I get to this new technology, let me say this. In the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 4, we see that our generation would be known as the generation would increase in knowledge. And so the product or the design, this new invention that you're going to see could have only happened during our time. And I'm going to connect the, this prophecy, connect what you're about to see with the signs in the sky. So let's play the video. This is the world's first spherical flying machine developed by the research department at Japan's Ministry of Defense. This machine can hover like a helicopter and take off and land vertically. But because it works like a propeller plane standing vertically, it can fly forward at high speed using wings, which a helicopter can't do. This machine also has three gyro sensors, so even if it hits an obstacle, it can maintain its attitude and keep flying through automatic control. It says because the exterior is round, this machine can land in all kinds of uh, attitudes and move along the ground. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, let me bring you to something new here. Now, keep in mind, we've the the invention that you're seeing here could have never been done without the advanced technology that we have and the assistance of computers. It was just unheard of. So we know that our generation fulfilled Daniel 12 4, where the, we are definitely the increase of knowledge generation. Now let me go to a, another, I want to go to a, uh, I'll hit replay here. And this is a, a YouTube video of lights that are moving in the sky. They move in all weird directions. They can go up, they can go down, and uh, they're weird looking. But is it possible that behind the scenes that what we are looking at here might be, let me bring it back now, 
might just be something like this that they so have brought out. It it's flying in the, the sky at night. You see the lights on it, control. and it moves fast in all different directions. And uh, if people were to well, see well, that, well, they well, would well, immediately well, say well, that no well, plane well, that we know of could do that. Well, but as you can see, this well, new invention can actually well, do well, that. Well, and with well, the well, green well, and the white and the blue lights, it could resem resemble what we're seeing in the sky. Now this is just my theory, I don't know for sure, but I do know this. Our generation is the first one who was e ever able to come up with something like this. So, now, also keep in mind that we still believe that uh, we're going to see, at least I believe that we'll see some more evidence of weird craft that have been floating around and I do believe that uh, there is that possibility that demonic forces will be used to confuse people and draw people away from the Lord. But in any case, we know for sure that Daniel 12.4, the increase in knowledge, has been fulfilled. And if you want more information about this, then once again, I'd like to direct you to my site where you can download this book today for free and when you read chapter 3 from the book I give you all of the new technology that is coming uh, forward in our generation as proof text that only our generation could have fulfilled the prophecy that God showed Daniel about our generation become the one who would be the increase in knowledge generation